Hi everyone, and this is Fortnite from Super User Project Dial. Now I got a version of Chromium OS running on my Raspberry Pi, and this version has the Play Store, unlike the version that I showed you in one of my previous videos. So you can get apps from the Play Store, and so that's what we are going to be taking a look at today. I'm not going to show you how to install it today, but I just thought I'd show you around and show you some of the things with it. So let's get started. So first of all, I have some apps installed right here. I also enable Linux support so I can install Linux apps if I want. And so it, it has been working pretty good. I got these installed earlier. And so let's take a look at it. First of all, we should take a look at the performance of things. So we will go to the browser and we will head over to my channel right here. And that seems to work reasonably well, but now let's test out some video playback. So we will play my latest video right here and we will see how this goes. So let's see what resolution this is in. I would like to up that resolution right there try playing it we will right click and do stats for nerds and these seems to be playing good it's not dropping any frames so the last version that i showed you was dropping frames it had some graphical issues but this one seems pretty good so this is fido s and so the other one fido s made it but it was chromium os but this one is actually fido s and so it's a little bit different you know setting it up and it's a little bit more complicated if you want to get the Play Store working, but it is worth it. So I will maybe make another video on that. Anyway, this seems to be playing video very well. I'm very surprised by this. Even when we went out of full screen, it's only dropped one frame. So this is really good video playback. So let's just stop that and we can close that down right there. Now I'm going to show you some other things. So we can show you Microsoft Edge. And here is my channel in Microsoft Edge, which is an Android app. So we will see how Android video playback is. So this is the kind of app that you would use on an Android tablet. And let's try playing. So it's not really wanting to work right here. It says if playback doesn't begin shortly, try restarting your device. So I don't think that video playback would work in Microsoft Edge, it might in other Android browsers, but the performance of the native stuff is just way better too. So I recommend that you just use the native browser and everything like that, but if you need an app and you can't get it with the native stuff, then maybe try the Play Store, because it is kind of emulating that, it's not exactly Android. Anyway, let's try the terminal, and this is Linux. So I won't skip ahead through this, we will just let it start the virtual machine and see how long that takes. Starting the Linux container, and I have NeoFetch installed so we can run NeoFetch and just get some system information. Okay, so right here, Neo Fetch. And so this is Debian Buster virtual machine on here. And so we can see all our information there. Now let's run up COG. COG is an app that will give us system info. It has the wrong CPU here. Anyway, we can see CPU usage and memory usage, which is RAM. And so if we close out of that, go back to our browser, and then we can just make that smaller. We can see that goes up there. So it's making good use of the CPU. It goes almost all the way up when you try to load something, which is good, because you want it to use as much power as possible. Anyway, let's try some browser benchmarks. So what we will do here is we will go to browserbench.org. And now we have the different benchmarks here, so I'm going to close out of these. And so we can see our, our RAM usage here as well. So that's quite high, but a lot of times on the Chromium OS's that I've tried, 
like it's pretty high but it's fine kind of thing so I don't know why but anyway let's try some benchmarks he right here so we will try jet stream 2 which is just an all-around benchmark to do so let's start the test and we will come back when it's done okay so this has completed we are back here and we have our score which seems pretty reasonable since this is not overclocked so if you overclocked you could get an even better score but for now this is our score right here for jet stream so now let's just go back and motion mark is a graphics one. We don't need to run the whole test necessarily, but let's just see the first little bit how this goes. It seems to work reasonably well. Okay, so I just let it run while I was editing the video. So it is completed right here and I'm glad I did that because this is the best score I've ever seen with motion mark on the Pi. It's way higher than anything else I've ever seen and I don't even know how this is possible. This score for graphics is so high. So anyway, we have a very good score right here. So that explains why the video playback is so good. Anyway, if you are using these for graphic intensive things, then it might be a good operating system for you. Anyway, let's try some other things. We will just do the first part of speedometer. And so this one we can visually see pretty well. It basically does a to-do list there. So let's just close that out now. And so we have some other other Android apps installed here. So we have Autodesk Sketchbook, which is a drawing program. Although, yes, it's hard to draw with a mouse, but we will just see if we can get anything done right here. So it's kind of laggy. So Android app support isn't very good. As you can see, when we're going around here, it's lagging pretty bad. And it also depends on the app but things like these aren't going to give you a very good experience. I guess if we go faster, it kind of catches up, but it's still not very good. Because I'm wiggling my mouse very fast and it's not really coloring in very good. But it's still reasonable for occasional use and we can just close these down. Now I have Google Snapseed here, which is a photo editor. But I don't have any photos on here to open. I'm just going to take a screenshot of my desktop, put that into our Snapseed. Allow. Now let's select a file. Okay, so we have it here. And so now we can apply effects and stuff. So we will just do this as kind of a benchmark right here. Let's do structure. Okay, so that loaded reasonably quickly. Let's try some of the others. Smooth. That one was, it took a little longer, but it's still reasonable. Let's apply that there. And now let's see what else we have. And so we can try these and we can try up in our filter strength. So Snapseed seems to work pretty well, even though Sketchbook didn't. So it just depends on the app because this seems to be a reasonable photo editor. So I think that this worked very well. Anyway, let's close that down right there. Now I'm going to show you some things that you can do to improve the performance. So you can go to display and you can adjust the resolution. So you can turn these down and so then it will give you a better graphic performance. And then you can, I just have the display size up, but it's probably probably best performance on 100% you can adjust the refresh rate right here depending on your monitor it will have different options and so that's our display stuff there anyway so there's also Linux beta right here that I've been using and so we have some options and so we can close that down and that's about it for this video so until next time, we will see you next time. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. Until next time.